Sending stock to take a lot for the first time can be challenging, let's just be real, so let me help you make that a little bit simpler. Firstly, we are going to go to takealot.com slash login. For this video to make sense, you would obviously already need to be signed up with Takealot to sell and have products loaded. Once you're logged in, you get to your dashboard. We'll go here on the left panel to my existing offer. Go to manage my offers. And over here, you'll see all of the items that you have that can be sold. Anything that says not buyable is either because you haven't listed a price or because you don't have stock on hand. Um, anything that says buyable means that you have a price and it is ready and um, able to be sold. So when you want to send stock either for your first time or a replenishment, you'll go um, as of 2024, you go up to the top here now and you say replenish stock. And now you can see this column over here saying quantity sending. So here you'll decide how many items you're going to send to Cape Town, how many items you're going to send to Joburg. Remember that you need to send about 70% up to the Joburg warehouse um, and about 30% to Cape Town. I found that they're pretty lenient on that. So you just need to monitor your sales and see kind of which area it's selling best in. Um, so I do about a 60-40 split and find that that works pretty well. Now, um, this will show you your sales on the last 30 days, but if you haven't had stock there, so for example, our WDTs have been sold out for more than 30 days, then it wouldn't show any sales. So that's not always accurate, um, just something to be aware of as well, because I was a bit confused by that. So um, if you're just sending one item, for example, our WDT, this item sells out all the time on our website. So um, it's a good example. I'll go through and I'll um, say five to Cape Town, and five to Joburg. And I'm just gonna do the exact same process now for all of our items. Once you've chosen your stock and you're ready, you're gonna click here at the bottom right hand and say create shipment. Take a lot will now calculate which warehouse you need to send it to. Over the last three or four months, I found that I always sent it to the exact same two. Um, I do know that there were other ones before, but yeah, so far I've always sent it to this one in Cape Town, Montague Gardens, and to the Take A Lot one in Johannesburg. Now you can do a in-person delivery. I've never personally done that. It works out more expensive for me to drive to the Cape Town warehouse. So I send everything through a courier. So I'm gonna show you that option down below. Now at the bottom right, we'll say create draft shipment. All right, and you'll see on the top right corner, it says products successfully added to shipments. And here they'll show you that these are um, now on the urgent side. So they need to be delivered by the 16th of May on each side. So you can see I'm sending 23 items to Cape Town and 19 to Johannesburg. Now I did mention 60 or 70% has to go to Joburg. The only reason I'm not doing that now is because I just sent some stock to Joburg in the week. So. Yeah, the quantities will be at that ratio. Now what we're going to do is we'll process each shipment. So let's start over here with the Cape Town shipment. We'll click over there. If you did need to adjust any stock, you could change it over here. If you saw that you don't have eight in stock, you can quickly make it seven or um, yeah, can make any changes you want over here. I'm happy with all of this. So you could say download all product labels. And these are going to be the product labels that you need to put on each product. I have the stickers for all of these items except for the dosing rings. So in this example, I'm just going to select dosing rings and I'm going to come down and say download selected product labels. Now this page comes up and this is very important. All of Take A Lot stickers needs to be printed on a 45 up um, label system. These are the 45 up labels, which you can get. Um, I buy them from Take A Lot. It's cheaper than at p and I've found. And it's just because there's 45 stickers that fall on, fit onto an A4 sheet. These are the stickers you need for Take A Lot items that you send. So you'll see, it will say product labels must be printed on 45 up labels. Ensure your printing settings are not set fit to paid. If printing partially used sheet of labels, please enter how many labels have been used. So an example of that would be this. I just sent stock to Joburg, that's all I'm left with. I could count how many I've used and type that in down here. So let's say I've used 36 already. Then it would give me, um, it would only add in from over here. So that's nice, saves on stickers. 
For this example, I'm just going to start with a brand new sheet. So I'm going to say zero. Click download. Once download is complete, you push download again. That will save to the browser. I like to print these as I go, just so that I don't get confused. If you scroll down, you'll see the stickers always get added from the bottom. That was also a bit confusing in the beginning, but the stickers are added from the bottom up and you can see it is printing the dosing ring stickers. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is push print more settings and I like to just make sure that the scale is set to 100%. Otherwise, they don't quite fit on the sheet as nicely. I'm going to push print now. And that's what you end up with. So as you can see, all the stickers are printed from the bottom up. And I'll keep that aside because these are just for Cape Town. I'll need this again to print the ones for Joburg. So I can exit this print here. Right now, once all your stickers are printed for the Cape Town shipment, we will say mark shipment as confirmed. Once you do this, you can't go back. So please make sure that you've got all the stickers and that your stock quantities are correct because you can't change anything after this. So we'll say mark shipment as confirmed. Um, no, don't decrease the quantity from my stock on hand. You can explain that in another video. There you can see on the top, we've got the notification successfully confirmed your shipment. All right, now on top, we can see this is the Cape Town order quantity that is going. If any quantity is required, the due date and the PO number. This is very important. As of 2024, we need to add that into our shipping labels. So we'll download a shipping label. This needs to be printed on six up labels. So very similar. These are the six up labels. Also from Lasso, Ports on Take A Lot uh, comes in pack of 100 A4 sheets, which is amazing. Um, just the same, you need to say whether you've used any. I need three labels because I think that I'll be packing this into three boxes. And I'm using a new sheet, so I can keep that zero. Push download. Downloads complete. Open it and repeat the exact same process for printing. And you can see they get added from the bottom to the top again. So all of these are the Cape Town shipping labels. And remember to check scale, set to 100%. All right, these are now printed. There is a section on here to type in box one of one, and that's all how to package the stock. So. Uh, let me know if you want to see that in another video. There are some, some rules just to get used to with packaging products. So one, the next thing we need to download is a shipping note. So we'll click on the top here. This is the shipping note, and this is very important. We need to download two copies of it. When you go through your Take A Lot training, um, when you first sign up with them, they do explain that, but it's not the clearest thing. So that was a bit confusing before. I have had a box returned because I didn't have two. So just make sure that you print two copies and this is just on regular A4 sheets, just on regular paper. And the reason we're printing two, one goes inside one of the boxes. Even if you have three boxes, you still only print one for inside the box and the other one gets stuck on the outside of the box for them to receive it. So we'll print and select two copies. All right, that is now done. So you should end up with four pieces of paper, two copies of your shipping note. Again, uh, on regular A4, you should have one sticker per box that you're sending a shipping label. So I've got three of them just in case. And you should have all of your product labels printed on the 45 up. Once that is done, the only thing left to do is to say book delivery. But before we can book the delivery, we do need to package that because we'll need to set it up with the courier. Once we have everything printed and we're happy, we'll say book delivery and we'll quickly sign up over here. All right, this little dashboard used to be quite confusing for me in the beginning. This will essentially show some of your shipments and everything else. To be quite honest, I don't really use the sectional page at all. I simply say um, book a delivery over here say book delivery and you will select this one you do need to actually select the box so it will select this Cape Town shipment 
and then you select I will deliver via take lot preferred courier that's important and here you'll put your weighable number I use the courier guy a great tip that I found from someone on YouTube is that the courier guy if you reach out to them by email you can sign up with a commercial account and you get discounts you also get a discount um, when you send to take a lot directly I'm not sure about the percentage but it's it works out very nicely so every time you send your stock to take a lot you're actually getting a great discount through the courier guy so before I can enter the label, I need to create a shipment. You could do this through any courier. As mentioned, I use the courier guy. This is also very simple. I'm gonna say, um, create a shipment. Confirm that there's nothing hazardous. And as of 2024, this is very important. We now need to put in a custom reference and it needs to be our PO number. So the purchase order number from take a lot. So I'll go back over here right on top i see my po i'm going to copy that go to courier guy and i'm going to paste this in the customer reference so po and the number now i have all of my details folded in over here just type in our business and the nice thing with the courier guys platform is that you can just add it um, add these addresses into your book and it's very easy to you don't have to retype in the address each time so add from address book I'm going to go to take a lot Cape Town. And as long as you fold it in exactly the same way that the courier guy needs it, the discount will automatically be applied. And for the cell phone number below, feel free to just add your own number since take a lot doesn't have a number. Package type. Now I'll just need to type in my parcel dimensions. So before I can do that, let me go package those things and then get back to you. All right, now that all my product labels are on the products and the boxes are packed, I can now enter these dimensions into the Courier Guys platform. So I did end up needing to package two boxes and we'll say next. This is if you have any special requests. So we say next, skip that. And you can see this is in green, 94 and 88 to ship the two boxes to Cape Town. You can see that I have a take a lot discount applied at 31 Rand. So it would have been 126, but we're only paying 94. So that's the amazing part with being signed up with Courier Guy and sending to take a lot directly. You get a great discount. And it may not seem like much on one shipment, but when you take into consideration all of the take a lot success fees and everything else and that you lose, as well as how many times you'll be shipping to take a lot, it definitely adds up. So if I'm happy with this, with this price, you can go ahead and you say book shipment. Now with take a lot, they are very quick at coming to pick up. So sometimes I've booked this and I haven't actually been fully ready for them. And literally two to three minutes later, they've been outside the door. So do make sure that you are actually ready and packaged to go. Now that I have my Weibo number over here, I can copy this and we'll go back to the booking system. We've selected the shipment. I've selected the courier guy down here. If you were using somewhere else, you could go through this whole list and choose whoever you're using. Paste your label number and say add selected shipments. This page will come up basically just confirming that the courier is to collect or whether you will deliver to the courier. I always keep it simple. Let the courier collect straight from the door. Once you've done this, the courier guy will contact take a lot and they will set up the delivery time. So you don't actually need to stress about what time it's going to be delivered to the warehouse unlike if you were delivering it in person where you have a time slot. Um, nothing here needs to be changed. All that you do is you scroll down to this, allocate to courier, you select that and say confirm. And there it said success. I can now close the booking system, go back to the seller portal. And as soon as the shipment is shipped, you will just select this button over here. And it does give you a cool little checklist. Make sure that all your product labels are on, that your shipping labels are on each box, and you've printed two, copying, two copies of the shipping notes. Now, if you would like a video on the specifics of packaging to take a lot, um, I'd be happy to make that. It can be a little bit complicated and I've, I've for sure struggled in the past myself. So let me know if that is something you'd like to see. We can go into a bit of detail on that. So now if we go to shipments and draft shipments, you'll see that only Joburg is still left here to be processed. To process this, you'll just go through the exact same steps as we just did for the Cape Town order. Remember that when you're 
boxes are packaged, you do want to make sure that you followed all the packaging guidelines in order to make sure that TakeLock can receive it and get it up and loaded as soon as possible. I found that if you're sending it, I stay in Cape Town, so if I send it to the Cape Town one, the stock usually arrives within two days and is up and ready for people to buy. When I send it to Joburg from Cape Town, it usually takes about four days to be on Take A Lot system. So hope that helped. Let me know in the comments if you need any help with anything else. My name is Romero Mayer, co-founder of Brewbetter, and we have been selling on, on Take A Lot for the last few months and have had a very successful time with it. Really been enjoying it, but lots to learn and lots of rules. So let us know if there's anything you need below.